Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you my evening skincare routine. So I've got a uh, full face of makeup, if we can even call it that. It's the end of the day, it's starting to melt off, or it's starting to fade from caviar back to catfish. So yeah, I'm going to show you the full routine. Back to the restart button, refreshing my face. And I think I've got a pretty good routine down now. A lot of products that you guys can use that I think would work for any skin type, skin tone, yeah, just everything because I do have oily combination skin, a little bit acne prone, and as everyone probably wants, I'm trying to keep blemishes at bay and just smooth and even out all the texture of my skin. And these products, they're not amazing because I do use other products as well and other face masks, but they do really help and I think they work really well. So yeah, let's get started. So obviously I've got my hair tied up, like half as bizarre, come get me for my collab because I'm ready to show you my skincare routine. It's, yeah, definitely way better than all the celebrities. But the first product that I use is from number seven and it's not, this isn't like my holy grail, but I do like a oil or gel or just something that kind of melts into all the makeup and removes everything from the surface of your skin. This is the Beautiful Skin Cleansing Oil. It says normal to dry skin, but basically I just pump out, you can wet your hands first, but even just dry hands is fine. I pump about six or seven squirts and then rub it between my hands and then it creates, you can't really see it, but it creates a more of like a foamy oil and then I'll just start rubbing that all across my face and it literally melts everything off. Does anyone else leave their eye makeup to last because you're like, oh my eyebrows actually look really good today. I kind of, it's going to be sad to erase them. Oh, I look like that eyeliner meme where it's like, oh, the smoky eye meme where it's like when you try and copy a smoky eye tutorial, you come up with this. This is pretty much me. This is why I don't do makeup tutorials, guys. Obviously, I'm going to wash this all off with water now and then get on to my next cleansing steps. As you can see, that got off like 80 to 90% of my makeup. There's still quite a bit on and it does leave a bit of a greasy film over the skin. However, it's nothing that the next cleansing step won't fix and it's, yeah, it's definitely like left my skin feeling very hydrated. Much better option than like drying it out with really drying products. So next I'm going to go in with another cleanser. Sometimes I use just a balm in the morning, but for the evening I do prefer to wash my face. So I've got the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. So Fresh is a pretty cult favorite brand and this is one of the, like, yeah, one of the best cleansers they do apparently. So it's got amino acids. What else has it got? Um, okay, it doesn't say what it has here, but it's got things like soybean, mallow, rose, castor oil. So very, very nourishing for the skin. I just use about a that amount. <laughs> and then I've just, oh, okay, the makeup's getting in my eye. Wow, oh my God, I'm such a professional skincare expert. Wow. Wow guys, thumbs up and subscribe. But I will just rub that all into my face again and then wash that off and then wash that off. Just running it all over my face again. Obviously if you're in the shower, it does foam up a little better. However, this is just gonna get all the rest of the residue of makeup off. So just because the eye area is more sensitive and obviously eye makeup is more difficult to take off, I use a, if I can get this closed. I hope you guys are not as bored as my camera because it keeps cutting out. Anyway, these are fragrance-free eye makeup remover pads, very gentle on the eyes, they don't test on animals, and yeah, pretty cheap and affordable because literally all we're using this for is to remove eye makeup. And because they are obviously moisturized, they have like, they're dipped in a lot of like oil and serum and whatever the product is, it does feel a little more moisturizing, it doesn't dry out or like pull out the eye area, which is not what we want to be doing, unless we want to age 10 years. But I really like it because it just leaves my under eyes feeling very like soothed and free of makeup, free of all product. And then I don't have to scrub at them with all my other face washes. But I do always like to double cleanse. So even though I will wash my face about three times in total, twice to just get off all product and wash off the residue and then once like to just clean my actual face. So I'm gonna go in again with the fresh soy face cleanser, just wet my hands, leather it up and then wash it off again. 
And I forgot to mention I will also be running this down my neck because I haven't cleansed the neck yet and it's equally as important as the face. So now that I'm feeling like I literally just jumped off Noah's Ark and I'm swimming in the ocean, that I've definitely cleansed my entire face and neck and the entire bathroom is flooded, yay! So, now moving on to the next steps. That is all done, that is the annoying part. That takes ages and yeah, my face is definitely fully clean now and I really recommend double cleansing if you don't already. That is like the number one Korean skincare tip just to make sure your face is completely clean. And yeah, I guess you could dry your face. I'm gonna move on to toner and you should really just probably dry your neck and face. But apart from drying my hands, I'm just super lazy. Um, and yeah, I'm still applying products. So it doesn't really matter too much to have a little bit of moisture still on the face. So the toner I like to go in with, I either recommend a toner or an essence, something like a very, very light, lightweight liquid just to help all the other products seep into the skin better and kind of, it's kind of like putting a like primer on or like priming coat, uh, yeah, coat of paint before you paint with an actual color, so the results come out a lot better. So anyway, this one is something I received from a friend a long time ago, and I'm just getting around to using it up now. This is from Benton, which is a really great Korean brand, and it's the Aloha BHA Skin Toner. So BHA is more, I guess, for oily, blemish-prone skin. It's kind of good for evening out um, surface of your skin. Uh, yeah, it says for sensitive and troubled skin. It's got aloe, BHA, and yeah, it's a really good product, uh, very authentic Korean skincare. So I'm just going to spray this over my face and then pat it in. And I just always like to rub in circular motions. And then I'll just probably spray a little bit of my neck too. Sometimes I like to use a really like hydrating neck cream or body lotion on my neck, but usually I don't like to do too much because the skin there is like really sensitive and they don't want to break out. I kind of let that sink in a little bit. I'm gonna go in with my eye cream. And the one I'm using right now is the number seven Lift and Illuminate Triple Action Eye Cream because prevention is better than a cure. So I'm trying to avoid wrinkles because I'm nearly 25. So I feel like an old lady. But anyway, I just like to use my ring finger because that is the most delicate finger. And then just rub that, well not rub, but like quite gently apply that into the undry area and the eyelids. This one is supposed to be like good for anti-aging, brightening the under eye, and I would say my dark circles definitely look a little better. I use this morning and evening, and it does seem a little bit brighter, just a little bit more, I guess, rejuvenated or like refreshed. And it's very sensitive, good for any skin type. So yeah, I really like that one. And then the final step is going to be my uh, rosehip oil. So this is from Akin, Akin, I'm not sure how you pronounce this, but it's the weightless rosehip oil and it's just like pure rosehip, very, very natural. And this is also, even though you, you know, you might be thinking oily acne prone skin and oil, that's like a no-go. Like Brittany and Kevin, g -Z and Halsey, me and a boyfriend, they just kind of don't go together for some weird, sad reason. But anyway, this one actually does work. So it's good for any skin type because rosehip oil is really good for preventing blemishes, just evening out skin, really making it like softer and calming any like irritation or redness down. So over time, I'm hoping that it's really going to even out my skin tone, even though I'm gonna be trying out loads of new products. So if you want like updated skincare routines and stuff, let me know, because they change like on a weekly basis. I love that it has a little dropper, so it's very easy to control how much product you get. So I'll just apply one drop on my forehead and then one on each cheek. And that is literally enough to blend into my entire face. And because I use a lot of like somewhat drying products, like a lot of face masks and exfoliators in the mornings and on weekends, that I do like to make sure my skin is still very moisturized and like has a, a lot of hydration. Even if it means I'm a little more oily, I'm okay with that because obviously this is 
anti-aging and it's like adding loads of nice nutrients into my skin. And then the remainder, I like to apply a little bit on my lips and then up the neck. So it's not like overwhelming my skin, but it's just adding a little bit of hydration. So yeah, that is everything. I will then go in with a lip balm and a hand cream, of course. I just thought that wasn't like exactly part of my skincare routine, but I thought I'd tell you guys I do that anyway. And I can do like an updated pamper routine. I'm not sure I've even done one yet, but anyway, I can show you guys what I use currently because I have a lot of face masks I love. Something I've been using for the past few months that I would say like once a week I've been using, I bought a whole pack of these Rail Beauty Lab, which I think is a Korean brand, Dewy and Hydrating Hydrolox Sheet Masks. So these are really amazing. I'm not sure if I've reviewed them anywhere, but I can if you guys want. These are just like very hydrating, loads of fruit extracts, a lot of nutrients added in, and of course sheet masks are amazing. So I use a mask every like, every three days or so. So twice a week, I'll use one that's like exfoliating and then one that's very hydrating and plumping like this one. So it kind of balances everything out. I try and balance like every time I strip my skin of everything and dry it out, I make sure I then like put loads of hydration back in. So yeah, another product that I like to use once a week is a nose pore strip that is like essential. I don't know if it's just me, but my pores are the size of a freaking crater on my face. So I have like these huge black craters all over my face. Yay, <gasps> love my skin type. But yeah, this is like the only thing that keeps my skin under control and under foundation, it still looks good. So yeah, and also my breakouts are getting a lot better, like they're not super crazy anymore. And I think I have these products to thank mostly. So those are all the products I've used. I will link everything below. Hopefully I'll find some like affiliate links that you guys can use as well. Um, you know, just to see where you can purchase these online. And thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed, if you like more skincare routines, if you don't mind me rambling on and on about these products. <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Bye!